Hey everyone, so today I'm going to make a traditional Cape Verdean cachupa. It's basically a poor man's stew. Let's be honest. It's made with things like samp, which is dried corn, uh, potatoes, beans, some kale. Some people use collards, collard greens. I prefer the kale. Uh, I'm throwing, you know, a few meats in there, a little linguisa. Some onions, um, I'm, I got a nice ham bone say, that I've had left over. I'm going to throw that in and some nice chunks of ham. Uh, sweet potatoes, stuff like that. Uh, seasoned with like some white pepper, some salt, some parsley. Um, uh, has some bay leaves in there. So it's, um, I'll show you the ingredients. I'll show you a little, I have a picture that I'm including in the beginning. And I'll show you this little, what I've got chopped up and ready to go. And I've got the pan started. I use a bit of chicken stock in mine, whereas other people will just use water. Um, you can use water, but you just have to season it a bit more. I prefer a, kind of a mixture of the chicken stock and the water. I like. I think it comes out a little better that way. And um, yeah, I haven't made it in a long time, so this is this should be a treat to do it. You know, go back. I'm sure my mom gonna want to try it so I'll send some her way make sure she gives me her seal of approval but she always gives me the seal of approval but that's just because she's biased but anyways regardless of that uh, I'll show you what I got let me spin this around and check it out hi Nadia you're in there good morning good morning <laughs> and uh, so this is kale that I chopped up and harvested from my little hydroponic system which I'm very proud of and love playing in my garden for so it's nice fresh fresh kale and uh, no dirt anywhere. This is the cleanest stuff there is. There, matter of fact, there is just not a speck of dirt anywhere. I love it. And I uh, usually would use like some fresh potatoes and whatnot, but we have these little whole new potatoes that are canned, easy to work with. You know, so sometimes you just make life easy. And I, I love my kidney beans. And, uh, and I'm going to try this little northern bean. Uh, a lot of times I use a big white um like a baby bean what's that you know the big white ones yeah and uh but we this time we have them but nah, i'm gonna i'm gonna go with this little northern we bean have instead white broad beans too the, yeah the, the flat broad beans that are similar to like a lima bean but white yes i have those but no nope, we're gonna go with lima beans okay <laughs> so i said there's my big chunk of ham bone and a couple of sweet potatoes the parsley yeah I'm, there is some linguisa hiding underneath the chopped up ham chunks there Yep, some onions, some garlic. I had some regular garlic, fresh garlic, which I used. But I didn't have enough, so we're going to use a little bit of this garlic over here. And I got this pan just started. Oh, yeah, she's steaming away now. Ooh, look at that. All right. And inside there, I have some bay leaves. And that's the samp. Yeah, it's just a corn. See, it's, it was dried corn that you can buy bagged, much like you buy split peas dried up and this is really getting going so I can start adding some ingredients I'll switch over to the other camera and we'll continue the video and show you more about the cooking process this is a long process expect this thing to be going for the next six hours before it's all said and done so but in the end it's great stuff so it's worth it all right we'll be back all right so I am back I'm uh, gonna start adding in some of the ingredients into this which is started a, a mild boil, so I'm gonna add a bunch of extra water because this uh, samp, these dried ingredients, really absorb so much water. And if you don't put enough, you just end up adding more later. So I've got a good, I would say, uh, in total, eight to ten cups for sure. Maybe even twelve cups of liquid going into this. Uh, it looks to be about a 50/50 with my broth and water. There's some bay leaves in there floating around. Um, there's no other seasonings yet. Um, I am adding some nice olive oil. I love parsley. Not everybody does, but I do. So some's going in. Definitely got to have some white pepper in there. And I'm only going to add a pinch of salt right now because I know, you know, I just added some water, so it's going to cut back the salt amount. I don't want to over salt it at all because you can't really go back too easily. And I can always add more later when I when it's really cooking through and I can taste it better. Uh, I want to get these onions and garlic in there. I want them to end up nice, soft, totally like cooked down, melted. 
So they're going to be in for the duration. Give it a bit of a stir, get this mix started up. And I got potatoes going in, but I don't want them to fall apart in the sweet potatoes, so they cook really fast. So they're going to go in the end. They're going to go much later. Um, I'm going to add a touch of, a touch more garlic. I'm going to add my, you know, my cheat, the minced garlic, although this stuff works great. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. There's lots of recipes this goes really well in. Actually, one of my favorite uses for it is garlic bread. This stuff makes the best garlic bread because of the juice that's in there. The taste is just on point. So, uh, one last ingredient for the time being. The bone. Drop that puppy in there, let it get going, and we'll be back. Hey guys, so I'm back. I um, did a little bit of doctoring and I added in some more meat. As you can see, I got my greaser and my ham in there. Uh, the samp is starting to cook up, starting to look like some corn now. I also added in a bit more salt. I tasted it and I put in some paprika and some chili powder just because the it just wasn't quite reminiscent of the flavors I was used to. So it is definitely much better now. It is coming along. I switched burners because I needed a little bit. This, this one allows me to simmer. And that main, that burner I was on really didn't quite cut the bill there. So I will be getting some of this kale in there shortly and some beans and start bringing a few more ingredients on board. It's been going for about an hour, maybe a little bit more than an hour so far. And it's still really early because this is going to go for a while. But um, yeah, I just want to give you a quick update and we'll check back in a bit. So just came back, uh, it's kind of settling off a little bit. Just added in all the different beans. The uh, fat is definitely starting to render out of like the linguiser and the ham bone and it is really coming along nice. The samp is swelling quite nicely and she's becoming pretty hearty. Getting a lot of those starches going and got some proteins in there and um, yeah. Uh, couple more additions as we go and I'll check back with you guys in a bit and show you what comes up next. Alright everyone, so as you can see got my big chunks of sweet potato added in and the kale is cooked down really nice. Really looking just about done. I'm gonna add some white potato to it, just some small new potatoes that I've got in there. Let it cook off a little longer just to soften the potatoes up and it's ready to serve. So, looking really good and I'll show you guys later once it's plated. Right. So, yep, it's done. We plated it. There it is. It's got all those, quite the assortment of ingredients in there. Everything but the kitchen sink. It has a little bit of everything and Nadia, who has not had this as far as I know, right? No? I don't think so. Huh? You can give it a little taste and try. Careful, it is very hot. It is straight out of the pan. Like melt your tongue off. Well, I hope it's not that hot, but it's definitely hot. So. Mm, it's good. It's very hearty. Hearty <laughs> filling. Oh yeah, like you'll never eat that bowl. Not that. It's. I mean, I would <laughs> for sure. I eat a lot. Nadia actually eats very light, and there's just a lot in there. Look, you have lima beans, corn, yeah, kale. You can, you can pick and choose what you want. That's the nice thing is you can kind of it definitely build has a, your own bite. It has a very smoky, hammy flavor. It's that, good. Yeah, and you get eat it because I had the ham bone. I had that smoked shoulder piece in there, and I had mm. linguine and. Mm -hmm. Got some sweet potato. There's even a little regular potato in there. Some new potatoes. There we go. Right? Did all right. No, yep, I'm gonna well, eat this for dinner. There you go. And I'm gonna try it right now. So I definitely like the kale that is in there. The kale. I'm a big the fan of kale soup. Yeah. Mmm. It does. It's not a. This kale is not bitter. Like it's a very 
nice mellow tasting kale. And you get a close up got of that some nice bowl. beans in there. Corn, kale. I do big chunks of meat with it. Big everything's like a chunky style as opposed sweet to potato. as opposed to little bits. Let me try some sweet potato. See how that came out. With some lima beans. That's a um, with stick to your ribs beans. kind of stew though, isn't it? Mmm. Nice. It's still it's tender, but it doesn't fall apart. So, hmm. yeah. Yeah, and to me, the flavors this worked out really well. This is uh, very satisfying. I'm really happy with the end result here. Uh, thanks everybody for checking in, paying attention. Uh, I hope you like it. I hope some of you actually maybe try to make it. So uh, feel free, leave comments below. Let us know what you think. Remember to like the video; it always helps. And please subscribe if you can. And don't forget, ring the bell.